Is it Agumba? I am certain you know why I sent for you. Ubefi. How can I know why you sent for me when I'm not a soothsayer? Eh? Oh, okay, they are not for a John Joe. So, if you have anything for me, let me know. Tell me why I'm here. You know, our people have this saying that it is only an illegitimate child who will have the mind to point at his father's compound using the left hand. What are you doing? What is this nonsense you are doing with the uh, Zafolo? Trying to dethrone a king that the ancestors have given us in Umezora. You want to dethrone him from the position that the ancestors have put him? Why? Even the ancestors themselves are disappointed in this so-called king. A king who would not listen to the men in council. Eh? A small boy who has decided to constitute himself into a Zonyawala. An all-knowing king. No, <laughs> it's not my king. Did you consult a deep Yafa? And he or she confirmed to you that the ancestors and the gods of Umezora have rejected this king. Or is this something that you men in council fabricated on your own just to massage your caprices? Do we need to consult any DBF over a matter that is so glaring? A matter that is that is so open and everybody is seeing it. Listen, the gods and ancestors have rejected this king. We're talking about. And our mission is to destroy him, derob him, and send him out of this kingdom. You know, had it been I've not known you for years. I'll be wondering who the hell this man is. But I know you to be an intelligent man. So why will you allow a character like Zafiriko to be influencing you into doing something that is glaringly stupid? That's very unfortunate. With all due respect, I take exception to that. You and I know that no one can influence me. Aichi Agumba, who can influence me? Listen, what I'm doing is in the best interest of this kingdom and our people. If what you are doing is in the best interest of the kingdom, then I am going to ask you here and now to desist from this scheme of trying to install his Afloquia as the king in this kingdom because that is not going to be possible. The only king we are going to allow in this kingdom is the one given to us by the gods and the ancestors of whom we saw. I'm not going to say anything on this again. Have a wonderful day, Shiagumba. I have searched my heart and I have searched my conscience. And I cannot see how I have offended anyone in any way. Why? Why are strange things happening around the palace? Why do I keep receiving strange visitors with strange requests? Why? But today I pray by the staff, the offer of my ancestors, that the airways of Umwe Zora kingdom be saturated. With the air of peace. I pray that anyone who seeks the destruction of Umezora Kingdom be destroyed. I pray that peace and progress 
shall continue to rest with the people of Muezar. Don't know what else to do. Why can't this man just pray without the offer? Huh? Try. It's it's revy, revy. Provide a cup of feet, let him wear the crown. No, do not fight a man ordained by God, yeah, cause you will never, never win. Why the envy? Why all the jealousy? You have forgotten your duties in the kingdom. Swallow your pride, let us all. Not going out? Yes, I'm stepping out for a bit. You don't look happy. What is it? Your Majesty, I don't think you're handling this situation with the right approach. You are about to be dethroned and you are not worried. Why? Is it because of her? Happy now. I do not want you to bring my queen into what's going on. That's one. And secondly, and most importantly, I want you to know that no one can unseat me. No one can get me off the throne of my fathers. I did not ask to be king. The gods of Umwezar chose me There is nothing a living mortal can do about it. You are saying all this because you don't know what is going on. The youth are agitating. The kingdom is divided. Lots of rumors going on that I don't even know which to believe anymore. assure you as my sister that I have this under control. Hmm? Relax. I just hope he's actually in control. My daughter, you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> I am the owner who is Africa. <laughs> and I control the political atmosphere of this kingdom. I dictate where the political pendulum of this kingdom swings to in my capacity as the owner of the of Umezora kingdom. <laughs> Very soon, all this will be over. Yes, Father. And you know what? You will have girls of your age, younger ones, even ones that are older than you all worshiping the new princess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, Father. I can't wait. But you see the princess. You see the princess. I'm going to spite her. She's so full of herself. I'm going to cut her into size. 
<laughs> Eka Maka, my daughter. Father. You know you're a child of destiny. I know. That was why God gave you to me on Eke Maka Day. <laughs> you see, spiting the princess is not the issue. The truth is that you will have men. I mean, wealthy men. Princes from far and near kingdoms. They will all line up, crawling to your feet, begging you to marry them. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I cannot wait for that to happen. See, I've not been rehearsing, though, but let me just show you. When that day comes, hey, you will see me. This is how I'll be dancing. Sick it. Dancing. Sick it. Sick it. Sick it. Nice step. That you, you will go down. <laughs> eh? I, I, I'll come up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. Reserve your energy for the real day. Yes, Father. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Father. Mm. I know that with you by my side, you will make this happen. Sure. I know you will make this dream come true. Sure. <laughs> Let's celebrate. That's my daughter. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> no, but <laughs> wait. Honestly, I don't like this. I don't. What don't you like? The fact that you keep coming here uh -huh. without even informing me. Uh, move over. <laughs> Have I, have I not told you that I'll keep coming here? Hey! Since you have refused to give answers to what the issue is, this has become my second home. No, no, whatever happened back in the palace was quite spiritual. And I can boldly tell you that it was something way mightier than me. Honestly, I, I don't even know how to explain what it was. I, I don't understand it myself. I know a Dibia. One that was attached to my father when he was king. I am sure that if we approach him, nicely and tell him about this problem that you have identified as spiritual I believe that he can help us mm -mm. no I won't consult a Dibia if you want to see the Dibia who was attached to your father when he was king it's fine but I won't that's okay I will go to him, regardless. I will tell him about this problem that you have identified as spiritual. I will tell him that my wife left the palace because of an issue that she feels is spiritual. But then I hope you do not mind me introducing you to him as my wife. Ishi Agumba, you must count yourself lucky for retracing your steps the time you did. Honestly, you would have been a dead man by now. Baby, please. Please help me. I even went to the palace to ask for forgiveness. But the king refused to give me a listening ear. Well, why eh? should I came to you because look, ah, listen, I will no longer be a member of the cabinet. In fact, I don't want ah, let me be myself, please. Help me. Were you actually thinking you were a member of the cabinet? A betrayer like you? A betrayer has no place in cabinet. You men we are just politicians who are playing politics in the kingdom. 
Now, have you bothered to ask yourself why Umezor has been progressing better than all the kingdoms around here? It is because we are committed to the cultural values of our ancestors. We do not allow politicians to meddle with some very critical things. Because if you do anyhow in Umezor kingdom, you will never get away with it. We know. Help me. I don't want to die. One can also carbon tea. Would I leave it and die? Please help me. Well, if you are sure that you have purged yourself of all the traits associated with betrayers, if you are sure that you have turned a new leaf, then you have nothing to worry about. Just go home. Uh, with you. Listen, please, I have to share this. Yeah? Look, I am born again in the traditional sense. Yeah? Not the other way around. Okay? I'm born again. I have repented. No, I said I see in his believing. When I will see, I will know. Oh, baby, you are looking at a repented soul. Let, I have repented. Let the repentance show the fruits of repentance, and I will know. The manifestation has already begun. You can see it. I am repented. Huh? I am a repented soul. Please. Thank you very much. Emeka, I am disappointed in you. What are you saying? If not that you are the law, I would have mobilized the youth to destroy this place. We thought you have something tangible against the king, not knowing that all those things was for your personal interest. Oh no. What made you think that your family will become the king? Or will ever be qualified to rule Umezora Kingdom? Emeka. Are you talking to Onu Nzafrukwe? Onu. Retrace your steps, or this kingdom will not be enough for us. No one's halfway. He finally. I am not able to plant what I planned to plant. Then I will uproot everything. Ebobe, your insensitivity. Lack of willingness to cooperate on this matter is beginning to suffocate me. If I leave here, I will not return. I will go back to the palace and do all that the elders in council have asked me to do. I am going to move on with my life. Build an empire without you. Mama, you are threatening me. Why? There's a tangible reason as to why you left her home. And the palace where you oversee to the affairs of your people who depend on you. Let me know. But clearly you have no tangible reason. And I'll be quick to remind you that a king is not meant to be alone without a queen. You're hurting me with your words. You know none of this is intentional. I... Killing me with your actions, oh baby. How long am I going to continue to live without you? What else do you want me to do to show you that I love you with everything inside of me? I can move things around for you. You know. Tell me what this problem is, and I, my darling wife. That is 
tell me. But the problem is, I vow to you on my honor as the king of Owen Zora that I will help you solve it. What the problem is? That is, that is my whole confusion. I don't even know what to say to you. I try to explain this to you each time, but it just feels like there is a force preventing me from talking. Listen, whatever decision you decide to take is fine by me. I don't know what else to do. It's no longer picking my calls. What is going on? Does it mean that finally we know Zafroque is alone in this fight? Baby, I am 100% sure that the person I saw driving out of this estate is the king of Omoezora. And you're the only one he comes to see in this neighborhood. So, so just see. If he came here to see me, so... Moreover, how is that even supposed to be a topic? Ugh. My dear, is that supposed to be any problem? I do not have any problem with that. Actually, I have a problem with you. Yes. What is wrong with you? Eh? Agayeregawa. What is wrong with you? No, tell me. You are the only person that I have ever seen spitting out honey from her mouth. Amanda, I would appreciate it if we don't talk about this. Drop it, please. I should drop it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want me to drop it? My dear, don't deny it. You love the king and you know it. Yes, your marriage to him made you the envy of everyone, including me. And now you just left him. I did not just leave him. There were... Amanda, there was a reason to it, but it's something I can't even explain. Mm. You won't understand it. That is what you keep saying. You will not understand. You will not understand. Make me understand. Why did you leave the palace? I might be the envy of everyone's eyes. But I have never had peace in that palace. Not for once. I don't believe you, Biko. Which one is you've never had peace in that palace? Not for once. Why? I am battling with a spiritual being. Excuse me. Hello. Who are you and how how did you get in here? <gasps> oh. Your 
feeling any better. Mm. Sorry. Thank you. You'll be fine. Bye. Right. Yeah, I think you put too much on yourself. The doctor said you passed out because you you don't rest. I will be fine. And I'm sorry I caused you panic. It's all right, my love. I love you still. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. You remain my love forever. <laughs> Second day, you were already. It was gone. You were, you were spent. <laughs> Fast spent. <laughs> so, which one are we taking? This or the other one? Which do you want? Um, looks. Mm. It's. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is um, seventy point twenty eight. So, who's cashing out this money, me or you? That would be Jesus. Jesus. Must, does it have to be you? No, it's. Ha <laughs> My own bread. You know what I have been meaning to ask? When are you going to take another wife? Or do you want to take us by surprise? Do you think that this is the best time to discuss this? You know, I was told that during the olden days, when men were still men, that a great king was determined by how many wives he had and how many communities he had captive. Then I wish to ask, by keeping just one wife, does it mean that my brother does not want to be a great king? In the olden days, the world was in the mode of worship and practice up, up on now. Things have changed. We have all evolved as a people. I am already a great king. I do not need to take multiple wives to be a great king. I have done a lot for my people. With the kind of development that I have brought to Umwezo, I assure you, it's time for me to join my ancestors. My name will be boldly written in the annals of history. Interesting. Your Majesty, please excuse me. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I just need to take some rest. That's okay. I'll be with you. Hmm? Did you have to bring that up in front of her? Why? Because I'm scared of her. What? Is that why her countenance changed? Okay, let me ask you. What about if you had said yes? I want to take another wife tomorrow. What would she do? Would she commit suicide? Be quiet. Huh? Fine, fine. I forgot that my brother is allergic to truth. But I will always tell you that because no other person will. My queen, you are really enjoying. Hmm? The environment of this palace is very peaceful, serene, and it's soothing to my soul. 
That is what it looks like, darling. But I am not happy. Maybe I need a child of my own. I need to produce an heir for the king. Why are you sounding this way? I mean, both of you are very young. Yes, you're young and I'm sure you would have a child of your own very soon. That is what we all hope for, but soon the king will start talking. He needs an heir. We know he is the king. And you know that the king loves you way too much. So please stop piling pressure on yourself. The king loving you should be your consolation. And I'm sure he would not allow anyone pile pressure on you. Come on. You won't understand, but you know what? Let me not bore you with that. How are you doing? I'm fine. You are sure you are fine. <laughs> you can bore me with your problems. I mean, we're friends. What are friends for? Mm, but I suggest we don't talk about that anymore. Okay? okay so tell me, what do you want to eat? Anything, just name it. The cook will make it. Um, what about I go make it myself? Ah. Oh. You know, feel the environment, see more places. Well, you are in the palace. You are to be served and not to serve anyone. Doesn't okay? Really matter. <laughs> You again. What is it? What, what do you want with me? You have refused to carry out my wish. You will keep suffering for disobeying me. I don't know what you were talking about. What wish? This lineage must end. For they ended the covenant they had with me. Do not stay here hoping to reproduce a son that will carry on this lineage. Else you will pay with your dear life. Have you wondered why you are not able to conceive or be a child for the king? I have no option than to leave. She is the one making it impossible for me to conceive. And she is not even hiding it. But why? Why can't I even utter a word? It would be foolish of me to stay back to wage a war against the spirit who appears and disappears. People judge me, but they don't know about my story. It's, it's revy, revy. Whoever the cup of it, let him win. Fight a man ordained by gods, yeah, cause you will never, never win. Why the envy? envy. Why all the jealousy? jealousy? You have forgotten your duties in the kingdom. Swallow your pride, let us all live in peace. Oh, child, make no for Ghana. No one can cause the man the gods has blessed. Oh. No one can bless the man the gods have caused to. So do not envy the man the gods have chosen. Ah, it is a fight to never win. Hey, what work can we need more faith? Call a rebel, what can I do? The evil you do will live with you. The consequences is big. Why the envy, envy? Why all the jealousy?